Brownie, despite mathematical safety being ensured on Friday, the gaffer wanted you to come here, really put a performance on, and you safe to say you did that, didn't you? Yeah, I think everyone would have expected we'd have probably been on, MK Dons would have probably been on most people's betting slips today, especially after Friday, but uh, our record away from home is, is decent. We've not let too many in, and we've picked up points against some of the bigger teams in the league, so, um, but like I say, coming here today, fantastic stadium and pitch, and, and the fans travelled in the numbers on a, on a boiling hot day, so we can only thank them, and um, yeah, good point. We'll come on to something you had to do in a minute, but despite the fact you know MK are going to keep a lot of possession, play nice, tidy football, you didn't have an awful lot to do, did you? And that's a credit to the back four and the rest of the team in front of you, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I thought everyone played really well today. There were a lot of seven, eights out of ten out, out there today. and Everyone put their bodies on the line and worked with Danny Ellick coming in for his first football league start was brilliant and worked really hard and he's, he's got all the tools to be a top player. And um, When Popey and Casey came on as well, they... Casey used his experience and Popey was, caused them all sorts of problems as well when he came on so uh, it was a real good team performance but like I say it's, uh, we've got to improve our home form and, and the fact that we've not sent the home fans home happy enough this season and, and that's what we need to do. The controversial penalty went to, against Mitch Clark for that high foot in the area what, what did you make of that first of all? Yeah I think Leggy said to the ref straight away says you can score a goal like that but you can't you can't clear it but um, the lad's not the biggest either and he and he wasn't the bravest, I don't think. He didn't want, really want to head it, but uh, yeah, the ref's given it, unfortunately, we've, we've got away with it. Kieran Agard stepped up, took it. The first save was good enough, but talk us through the second, the reactions, the get up and tip that round the post. Yeah, yeah, uh, it was it was all right. Um, yeah, it was OK. It was more than all right, Brownie, trust oh, me. Thank you. No, it was, uh, it was important, like I say, we, after the first half, we were solid. They had a lot of the ball, but uh, it was important we went in half-time at 0-0 and, and thankfully we managed to do that. That obviously gave you the impetus going into the second half as well. A great start, wasn't it? Tom Conlon, great finish on his weaker foot as well. Yeah, we were, we're not sure if it's a cross or a shot. Um, <laughs> but no, it was a, a fantastic finish. And <laughs> it's a fantastic cross, really, if you want to put it like that. But no, the lads are giving him a bit of stick for, for saying it was a cross. But um, yeah, it really gave us a great start, especially after not we didn't start the second half well on... Um, what day, Friday, so it was important we started well today, but then we didn't react either to, to going a goal up, and, and that's something we need to do better. How frustrating was that to concede just, I think it was five minutes later? Yeah, very frustrating. We knew their fans would, would get on their backs because they had to win today uh, with the results and, and where they are in the league and things like that. And right from kickoff, the, the lads got in, so it's something that we uh, concentration. They say you're the most vulnerable after, after you've just scored, and that proved so today. When the fourth official's ball went off for seven minutes at the end, my heart was in my mouth, as Max's was as well. I'm sure yours was, but again, credit to the lads late on dug in deep and, and got a well deserved point yeah I don't know where he got seven minutes from um, he was just laughing and joking with me after the game actually at where, he, where he got that. I think Danny Danny took about four minutes to get off so um, yeah but no like I say we, we killed the game well today and we managed it really well and we weren't as bad as what the team were on Friday when they were winning the game they were like I think Popey said a bit taking the mick a bit I think they did but we, did, we weren't we managed it well we didn't take the mick at all and a uh, really good point Macclesfield Town at home now at the weekend it'd be nice to finish on a high note weren't it in front of the home fans yeah definitely obviously they're fighting for the lads I've not seen any scores today but we know it's going to be a really tough game and um, they've got the, the big lad Smith up top who's a real handful and, and Sol Campbell's done a great job there but uh, like I say we've, we've not sent the home fans home happy enough this year because they're the ones that keep keep the club going and too often this time they've gone home on a Saturday afternoon and we've plenty to moan about and, and rightly so but uh, we, need to, we need to send them home happy and hopefully we can do that and send them into the summer with a bit of positivity.